All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, using the Lia uh, tools here, so that way we can make a 300 blackout out of a 223 fired case. So this is low budget, so this is the how to make it as cheap as you can. So we're going to use a shell case and a pipe cutter. Typically, uh, any automotive brake line, kind of the same deal. But what we're going to do is go right towards the bottom of the shoulder about right there just to give you an extra some room so after you cut it you could trim it so that way uh, you can get it to the exact length so here we go we're gonna get started on it now I just have the camera popped up so I apologize if you're having a bad light issues but I'll try to show you this as clear as I can now this is just on a regular drill, hand operated quick uh, quick trim uh, lead case. So we're going to go nice and easy, start off for the first round. Then we're going to tighten up in increments very slowly. And you can see it start to want to cut. So just be really light on it. It doesn't take very much. It is brass. Chop it off. We have this piece cut. And that's it. It's ready to get uh, put in our, our lead primer, or excuse me, our, my lead press, and get this thing set up. I'm going to taste that nice little berm off. Pull this thing out. Now what I'm going to do is it still has the primer in it. So I'm going to throw a little bit of uh, case lube on it real quick. Throw it on our press here. So this is what I have right now at the moment. I'm going to set it in here just like we normally would do. Alright, here we go. Go all the way down. I like to do it a couple times just to make sure it goes in and out nice and smooth. Here we go. The case ready for some 300 blackouts. Now before I get done with this last step, I'm going to throw it in the quick trimmer. Trim this some. You notice how it's a little long? That's how you want to do it. And you want to trim it afterwards because you don't want to cut down too much. And you ruin the shell case. And this is a uh, the crimped primer pocket here. So you're going to want to uh, give that a nice little trim there. That way it will accept the CCI 400. That's what I'm using. It will trim it with ease and insert it without any defects. Hope you like this video. Keep in mind this is a uh, low buck. So you want to buy those nice fancy tools. Have at it. I'm doing this just out of my garage. Nice little fun hobby. Thanks for the video. Thank you.